Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is a quick uh, video about something that uh, you need to know if you decide that you want to continue using Windows 7 after its uh, end of support next month, January 14th, 2020. So we are almost a month away from that. That means that you'll have a Patch Tuesday update in January of 2020. You'll be safe until then, pretty much. Then after that, it will gradually get worse. And because there's still going to be roughly a quarter of all the computers around the world running Windows 7, the bad guys are probably going to be quite active in the first year or so. But as time goes by, of course, it'll be less and less of a problem. Well, it'll still be a problem, and you'll still be infected, but you know the focus will shift to a, another operating system as this one dwindles. We've seen that with Windows XP. Now, if you continue using Windows 7 and are using what is the Microsoft Security Essentials, that's the security package Microsoft actually offers for Windows 7. Uh, a lot of you are using that. And uh, Microsoft did say, because the Security Essentials is basically closely related to what is Windows uh, Defender or Windows uh, security in Windows 10. But the problem is, is the Windows Security Essentials has a little difference, is that it's made only for Windows 7. It does not exist for other versions of Windows. So Microsoft, of course, wanting you to make sure that you move on to something else, uh, did say that uh, on January 14th, 2020, when you get this last Patch Tuesday updates, it's also when the Microsoft Security Essentials will stop getting updates. That means that antivirus needs to be changed to something else to stay safe. Because one of the things, of course, two things that will be on Windows 7 security side is how you use Windows 7. So it's going to be important to be very careful what you do. But also, it will be uh, also the fact that you'll need to use another antivirus. So, um, you know, you can switch to some other free antivirus, um, like AVG, maybe. Um, and, uh, you know, well, um, you, 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 you can check that out anyways and see what you can, um, you, maybe you can subscribe to an antivirus or something. But you'll have to stay as safe as possible. Make sure you have, you know, you use a browser that's updated all the time. Uh, you know, your best bet for what's coming up is the um, fact that some software will still be updated. So, for example, if you're on Windows 7, but Google Chrome still continues to be updated, you will be okay. You will be able to stay relatively safe thanks to the fact that the browser itself will keep itself safe. So, things like that will help you out if you do keep Windows 7 in uh, after the uh, January 2020 update. Now, uh, remember, the Microsoft Security Essentials will stop working. You'll need to start, and you, may, you can do it actually right now, start looking for uh, an alternative solution to Windows 7 for antivirus uh, from uh, you know the uh, unfortunate demise of the Security Essentials. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.